And here we are today on... <sighs> this game is fucking hard. We're playing the original Mega Man. Uh, yeah, actually, it's not really the bosses that are particularly hard. Just like the later bosses towards the end are pain in the butt, but... It's the levels that are the pain in the ass. I don't just mean like a regular pain in the ass, I mean like a pine cone shoved up your ass kind of pain in the ass. <sighs> and honestly, the levels ain't too bad once you play them like <laughs> 10 or 20 times and memorize every everywhere you're supposed to freaking stand. I'm playing the uh, PS2 version of Mega Man 1, which is... I uh, can't the anniversary to come out with all 10 Mega Mans. The first 10 anyway. Well, Mega Man 1 through 8 and 2 arcade Mega Man games. But, yeah, it's just the levels that are basically a pain. Once you learn the order in which you're supposed to go to beat all the bosses, the uh, robot bosses will fall easily. I just stand there shooting that guy for like 10 minutes. They always have at least one of these guys in every level that can block the shots and jump around and generally be a pain in the ass. Try to jump over them though. That's okay though. We got some bullet bills here. This is uh, Bomb Man's level, so everything on here explodes. But, yeah. yeah. I can't express my frustration with the, uh, the amount of time I had to put into this when I was a kid. I never actually played Mega Man 1, so this is my first time playing it. And you know, when it's your first time playing a Mega Man game, you are going to get your ass kicked. Because <laughs> they like on the earlier Mega Man's, they just love using these uh, disappearing platforms where you have to memorize the pattern and jump at the correct time to get the platform to appear. When the platform appears, you jump on it. Even though you jump when you're in the air, you don't see the platform. You have to pretty much <laughs> memorize the pattern, which requires you to play through the game level uh, like a good 30 freaking times. I know on the Gutsman stage it's up next. Uh, I think I died on the uh, platforms at the beginning trying to get the timing right for the jumps. For all the jumps at, uh, at least 10 times. So I use a good three, content three or four continues just on that one part. Up there I died right there. I should have just fell down, which is what I do right here. Now this is something they didn't have in uh, things after Mega Man. Enemies leading up to the boss like that in the little chamber. In the first Mega Man, the first uh, bot battle you have <laughs> is always the biggest pain in the butt because you always have to use the Mega Buster on if you do it in the correct order, you usually end up using a specific weapon that will kill another bot really quick. And he almost got me. A couple more bombs and I would have been dead. But yeah, it's... I mean, I spent uh, days and days on, uh, I think it was Mega Man 3. I mean, days and days of my childhood playing Mega Man 3. I mean, I actually think uh, I spent more time doing that than homework. Actually, I'm 100% positive that I spent more time. And I never beat the game either. I believe this the level that I hated the most. Oh, okay. Was it on Mega Man 3? I don't know, maybe it was Mega Man 4. Because yeah, I remember it was Skull Man. I don't think Skull Man is on Mega Man 3. But yeah, here's the part that 
just completely kept wrecking me because I kept jumping too early or too late and you get get down here to the ones that drop away you don't jump at a specific time and don't stand on a correct place on the platform you're gonna fall through I make it kind of look easy right there guess because I did it like nine million times <laughs> These guys are freaking annoying as hell. They're quick and they follow you through the entire freaking level. Now we got another block and throw boss here. One of those in every level. And you and of course in tradition. Mega Man style, if you go too far to the opposite direction, the enemies will respawn. Which is just another thing that can get you good and irked when playing. Because if you go the wrong direction and you just kill the guy and the screen scrolls back, he'll respawn. Now this guy right here, he takes off like freaking huge amounts of freaking health. And he... I think I sat there shooting him for like a minute and he didn't die. <laughs> the first time I played this. I almost got killed right there. And I get killed right there. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing I got that extra man. That's fall straight through. Screw it. Run underneath him. Run! I don't know what the hell that thing is, but... This is straight past the boss. Now, again, to beat, to beat the enemies in a certain pattern, the boss is just like stupidly simple. Because you use bombs on this guy and it only takes three hits to kill him. Since I got full health. He actually gets me down pretty far. His jumping thing where he knocks you on your ass is kind of annoying. But yep, he's dead and this video is over, thank god. I'll probably try to beat the game, but not, I don't know if I have enough patience <laughs> to actually do that. But uh, Anyways, thanks for watching and I'm going to be having a lot of videos coming up. Because I plan on uploading a lot of Rocksmith stuff leading up to the release of Avenged Sevenfold Pack, which comes out August 21st. So, uh, watch for that. And thanks again for watching.